is Michelle. I am the Baby Witch del Tarot, and today I'm coming with your reading. Just a quick reminder that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. And the day that you saw the video was the day that you needed to see the message. And of course, this is not going to resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates and let go whatever doesn't. With that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Let's see. Thank you, Spirit. They told me to go with this order. Thank you so very much. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. That's good. Thank you, Spirit. What do we got here? We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, just so you know, somebody watches you from afar. <laughs> um, and then we got the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles? I'm sorry, this is the hero font. <laughs> I don't know why I said five of pentacles. But I'm excited. This is somebody that you felt really drawn to, really connected to. Somebody that you really, really liked in a way that you never liked anybody before. This person could have a beard. This person has a short brown hair. This person could be a boss. It could be somebody that people like feel some sort of like admiration to. This person could be a little older than you. You know, that's the that's the way for you to know who this person is. And it's a person that for some of you I'm hearing the spirit is telling me, thank you, spirit, that you think they don't like you. But they do like you. But um they just quiet. They just quiet because they're actually just trying to to understand you, try to see how you are, how you act. Cause they're trying to like pretty much I feel like some of them are trying to find the best time or the best, yeah, the best timing to approach you, you know? I hear the spirit, thank you spirit, tell me that they don't want to scare you though. And it's like they feel like you're art, that like you're so pretty and they're just watching you from, from afar. Because this person seems to be really serious, really into themselves. and But for some reason they feel that you scare them. And it's not because nothing bad, it's because they like you so much that they're scared of you, you know. And okay, we got the nine of wands right here. And then we got the four of swords right here. I feel like... um. This person is also quiet, too, because this person might be, for some of you, I hear married. Other ones, I'm sensing that they're not single. And the same thing happens for you, like, to you, that you're not single either, for some of you, you know? And that is why they just watch you from afar, because they do like you, like you a lot, a lot, a lot. And is that, yeah, they like you a lot, and... Uh, just keep in mind that if you're actually going out with this person, you want to be careful because if you go out with this person on, let's say, you know, anywhere that you go and let's say that you both are taken or one party is taken and the other one is not, somebody might see you with them. So just be prepared to confrontation. That's what I'm hearing. That's what Spirit is telling me. Thank you. Uh, but some, but yeah, the thing is that, yes, they, they do like you a lot and it's like, it's going to cause trouble. Because neither of you are taking, I mean, neither of you are single. So, yes. And let me see. Then we got the King of Cups right here. And it's like, they're wearing a mask. And why are they wearing a mask? Because they're not admitting to themselves how they feel towards you. They are not admitting it. They're not admitting it, admitting it, admitting it at all. They're like trying to avoid the jealousy I'm hearing that too when you go out with somebody else. It's like they do like you a lot, but I see like somebody else knowing about you guys or somebody else spying on you both. I'm not sure there. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see. I see a Libra also. It could be you, it could be somebody else. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, I feel like there's a lot of emotion, a lot of like adrenaline when it comes to this connection that you are dealing with and there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of romance and all of that, but they're telling you that you're not saying something. I also see a Cancer, I'm not sure why I said Cancer and Sagittarius also or Aquarius also. Um, it's There's something that you're not seeing though, there's something that you're not paying attention to. Because you're just into like seeing the romantic gestures and you're seeing that adrenaline that this person is making you feel. But you're not seeing something. You know, you're not 
paying attention to something and the spirit spirit is telling me red flags also um then we got the queen of pentacles right here and i see somebody else and then we got the two of cups right here huh i feel like you want commitment or something like that or you want something serious but they're unable to give it to you i feel like they're not going to give it to you because they're actually they have somebody else and probably they cannot let that go because of like a kid um it could be marriage or so and I'm going to take a look at that because I'm really confused about that. Because they, they're telling you, I'm pretty sure they're just telling you to watch out about something. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to take this deck. What is it that they need to watch out for? What is it? Huh, I'm so sorry about telling you this. Like, I like happy readings, you know? Wow, they're telling you that this person it's coming like we got the start right here in reverse and then we got the nine ones right here this person and this is a, a message for not everybody just this just for like some like a tiny portion of you this person is promising you a new beginning this person is promising you fulfillment and everything that you want and the spirit spirit is telling me that it's a lie that they're not a they're not like not able like they don't really want to do that because they don't want to lose what they have because we got the three of pentacles right here they have for some of you they have a, another person like a marriage it could be kids it could be a business with somebody else it is something that is like related to money related to laws you know to like that kind of paperwork and i feel like they're keeping you around hope, uh, making you believe on or telling you this fake promises promises right that yeah we're gonna go we're gonna fly go around the world we're gonna fly here and there and there and there, and there. i'm gonna give the world you are the world to me there's gonna be a new beginning just give me time and it's telling you to use your intuition about all those those words because they're gonna they seem to be lies and I'm not saying he doesn't care for you in a way that he likes you. So it's just like he's incapable of doing all of that. Because he really, like he or whoever this person is, they know they have a lot to lose when it comes not only emotionally, but money-wise. Yes. One more, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Yes. So we got the Ten of Pentacles right here, then we got the Page of Pentacles right here, and then we got the Ace of Swords right here. So, again, the, whatever they can offer you is a tiny bit. It's something that, it's too tiny. And I feel like, why am I saying too tiny? Because you deserve more and you want more. You want commitment, again. You want a family. You don't want to be the person that has to hide or the second choice or option. And I'm not saying you are. I'm saying for some of you, you do feel like that. But again, this person, and this is underneath the Three of Pentacles right here. This right here, it is a lot of money involved when it comes to whoever they're with. Okay? And if it's a business or it is, um, um, I don't know, something like that that they cannot let go like i'm sensing a lot of money is involved a lot of properties or even if it's one property even if it's just a thousand dollars you know they just don't want to lose that because they know they worked hard and it's something that they are um with that person together and that could be a house it could be cars it could be a lot it could be children you know that that is why they cannot offer you what they're promising i'm not saying they don't care i'm not saying they don't have feelings for you that's what i'm trying to make clear my point is that whatever they can offer you for a while it is gonna be something tiny it is what they're offering you right now but i know they're saying other stuff for some of you like oh i'm giving you this i'm gonna give you that just so you know it's not gonna happen right now and it's a lie if they're telling you they're gonna do it right now because they are really self-aware that they are, are unable to do so so what you're gonna get is a double soda um double sided victory i'm sorry about that um which is gonna be yeah it's gonna be kind of like a new beginning it's kind of like a relationship but it is um it, it is something that you don't really like you know it is something that you don't really want because you want the whole thing 
you know like you want the real stuff and what they're giving you is something that yeah it makes you happy in a way because you know you do want them you do care for them but on the other hand you're not really happy with that because you want something else something more something more meaningful you know and i might um you might hear something like that or discover something like that throughout the winter time just so you know and you have you have to wait a lot a lot a lot if you want a sort of like movement when it comes to this relationship if you want this relationship to go to the next step it's gonna take a lot a lot of time also just be aware that this person not all of you some of you the only one intimacy like sexually being with you you know and that for some of you that's what i'm hearing sorry about that it is just to be sexual with you just your body i know this is not the kind of readings we like but you don't want to just to get a reader that likes you. You know, I just gave the message that the universe is telling me. Again, this is not going to resonate with everybody. This is a specific story for a specific, um, specific people. So, what is the outcome? What is the outcome of this connection, Spirit, please? Thank you. What is the outcome? Okay, one more. Just one more, please. Just one more. Okay, they're giving me more than one. Okay. Okay. This card went back. You're going to be sad. You're going to be feeling... You're going to be out in the cold. You're going to feel defeated. You might going to feel um, unsatisfied and sad. And for some of you, you might say to yourself, Oh, I feel stupid, you know? Like, you're, you're going to feel really unsatisfied and your feelings seems to be really, really hurt, you know? Just keep in mind that that could happen if you don't, if you expect too much from this person, too much from this, I don't see it happening. I see just a lot of pain, a lot of your time being wasted, a lot of patience and not getting what you deserved, you know? And I feel like you might be drinking a little bit because you want to forget, not necessarily, but just so you know, this for some people also, I see you feeling like, like you lost like embarrassed like ashamed also like you waited so long and like your feelings and emotions were not actually taken in seriously you know again i don't see this giving i don't see them giving you what you deserve which is like two of cups and then we got the uh, ten of swords in reverse it's like it hasn't happened yet but you're gonna be really hurt because they are unable to give you the cup that you deserve which is like what you get what you give you get i don't see that happening with this person I don't see them doing this for you. They're so unable to do so. They don't want to do that. They don't really want to do that, though. It's like they can't lose what they have, you know, and that's why they can't. So if you're expecting a give-and-take relationship, if you expect something more than what, you get, that what, you're, that what you're getting right now, I don't see that happening. And I see you wanting to hold, to hold on to this, hoping for the best hoping for something for something new to happen but it's telling you to stop uh, fighting it like you're trying to force something and you're gonna end up hurt you're gonna end up tired and I know it when people I hear like my spirit is telling me when people tell you this your friends somebody that's close to you tells you this you tend to get mad at them and you tend to like tell them like no f off or like stuff like that they're not doing that because they want to hurt you. They're doing this because they care for you. And again, the moon is telling you that there's a lot of things that you don't see, a lot of things that you don't know, a lot of like lies, a lot of like half like half truth. There's a lot of things that are gonna come to light eventually though. I see a Scorpio too, I'm not just saying that, but like little by little, like things are gonna come to light and you're gonna be discovering things, um, reassuring things, um, just so you know, yeah, there's a lot of things that this person is not telling you. There's a lot of things that you don't want to see. Just keep that in mind, okay? And let's see what's the message from you, from the universe. What is the, the advice that we can give um, Aries for, for this? What is the advice that we can give Aries? What is the advice? Spirit, what is the advice? What is the advice for them? Thank you, Spirit. fourth chakra right here in reverse Raphael and then we got man holding a coin in reverse I feel like you need to connect to your angels take a look at number 38 angel number number 38 again just take a look at uh, angel 
number 38 but it's like man coin man holding a coin in reverse it's like you're hoping and waiting for that for that offer that the offer that you want and i don't see that happening one more please spirit look deceit and this was i got this right so just keep an open mind keep an open eyes open ears do not ignore the red flags because this person that you that you think you know that you think they they actually meant what they say they're deceiving you deceit is here so again you don't have to stop talking to this person you don't have to like do what i'm saying but at least just pretty much use your intuition and pretty much don't be as naive and just open your mind a little and open your eyes a little bit more you know just again the universe and the spirit is telling you telling me to tell you keep your eyes open for the red flags okay just because you look away it doesn't mean that they're not there okay so again um again i'm sorry for this reading i know this is not the reading that we are all expecting but this is your message today uh i hope it had resonated and either way i'm coming back next week with more readings blessings and please just like and subscribe so i can you know give you more of my readings blessings